When you're buying an Apple accessory, it's usually because you want it to work seamlessly with your other Apple products. Today, we're gonna be diving into the sleek and stylish Apple Mouse 2. We'll uncover all you need to know about this cutting edge mouse. Stick around to see if this mouse is the perfect companion for your Mac setup. From the moment you turn it on, your MacBook or your iPad will recognize this mouse in the Bluetooth settings and it will connect without any issues. Where this mouse really shines is in the natural scrolling and the gestures. Let's talk about the natural scrolling. As you can see on this mouse, there is no scroll wheel. And that's because this mouse uses scrolling like you would on an iPhone where you tap and drag to scroll up and down the screen. And what I really like about the natural scrolling is that you are not limited to just scrolling up and down like you are with a regular mouse wheel. It also allows you to scroll left and right, which is great if you're using any kind of apps that require you to move up, down, left, and right. One of my favorite gestures with this mouse has to be the ability to go back and forth on web pages. And this gesture works just like how it would on iOS or on a MacBook. It makes browsing just that much more enjoyable. Another great gesture is that you can use two fingers to swipe between full screen applications. And lastly, mission control, where you can just double tap with two fingers and it brings up all your open apps. They've basically taken the trackpad and put it on the mouse. If you are worried about this mouse being just a single click mouse, then you'll be happy to hear that this mouse does have a right click and you just have to turn that on in the settings. At a first glance, you can see that this mouse has a curved plastic piece that covers the entire top of the mouse and it's actually quite tiny. When you put your hand on the surface of the mouse, it doesn't take a lot of pressure to initiate the click and the click does have a nice feedback and sound to it. The bottom of the mouse has the typical space gray look that you see on a MacBook and it has these two long skates that run parallel that are designed to give it a nice glide when you're moving the mouse. I think it's an interesting design, but I don't think it's a good design. I feel like these two long skates were chosen to look this way to make it more unique and less functional. There's an on off switch that is right next to the sensor and there's a charging port that accepts a lightning cable. Now, a lot of people seem to be unhappy with the location of this charging port. I understand why Apple would put it under the mouse. If you're just looking at the mouse, you can see they're going for this minimalistic design, which they usually do. And if you put the charging port somewhere else on this mouse, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. So. From a design perspective, they hit it somewhere that you won't really see it. The only problem is if you need to charge it, you can't use it because there's a cable sticking out of the bottom. But once it's charged, it lasts a really long time. On paper, Apple says this mouse should only have to be charged about once a month. Now there is one thing you should know about this mouse, and that's the tracking speed is not the same for everybody. Most people have no issue with how fast the mouse moves across the screen, but a select few people can't seem to get the mouse moving quick enough, even when the mouse speed is set to max, which is a little bit frustrating, but there is a workaround and that just requires going into your terminal and putting in a command that has to do with the resolution scaling for how much space the mouse covers when it's moving. But like I said, it seems like a pretty isolated issue. And I'm gonna put that command in the description of this video in case anyone else is having that same issue. But other than that, everything about this mouse seems to work really well. This mouse is really light. It feels good to hold. It does feel good when you have your hand over it. And because this mouse is so small and light, it is an easy accessory that you could just throw in your laptop bag and you can hold on to it for those days where you don't really feel like using a trackpad. And if you're wondering what's the difference between the Apple Mouse 1 and the Apple Mouse 2 is that they changed how it gets power. Apple Mouse 1 used a battery, Apple Mouse 2 rechargeable battery. And there is also some confusion about an Apple Mouse 3, which is just an Apple Mouse 2, but they changed the cable that it ships with. And some people started calling that the Apple Mouse 3. It's still the Apple Mouse 2. They just changed the cable. That's it for the Apple Magic Mouse 2. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in another one.